A demand for answers this weekend following panic in paradise and accidental alert going out all across Hawaii urging people to take shelter from an incoming ballistic missile. Well, that false alarm was eventually called off, but not before residents began scrambling and even saying their goodbyes. And this entire frightening episode was all caused by human error. Now, the big question is, how could this have happened and why did it take 38 minutes to sound the all clear? Quite special. Well, CBS 4's Laura Podesta spoke to some of those terrified people and has more on what officials are saying allowed this to happen. People in Hawaii ran for cover and some took shelter in manholes after a false alert sent to cell phones warned that a ballistic missile was headed toward the island Saturday morning. Nobody who we spoke to uh, in the hotel, in the street, Nobody had any idea what to do. People, people were just in shock. Jim Jaggers, a meteorologist from the CBS station in Memphis, was on vacation in Kauai and huddled with his family in a closet. We were uh, trying to figure out the best thing to do and just using tornado uh, safety rules. I, I know you go down into a place where there's no window, a small room, and bunker down. Emergency officials tweeted that the missile threat was a false alarm, but it took 38 minutes for a second emergency alert giving the all clear to go to cell phones. Hawaii's governor explained how the mistake happened. It was uh, a procedure uh, that occurs at the change of shift where they go through to make sure that um, the system is working and uh, an employee pushed the wrong button. Officials apologized during an afternoon news conference. This is my team. We made a mistake. Uh, we we're going to take processes and, and study this so that this doesn't happen again. This incident comes as tension remains high between the U.S. and North Korea. North Korean President Kim Jong un claims to have ballistic missiles capable of reaching Hawaii and the continental U.S. Laura Podesta, CBS News, New York. And the chairman of the FCC tweeted the agency is launching a full investigation into the faults. Emergency alert that was sent to residents of Hawaii.